Do you ever wonder what it could be like if you just took a sheep's DNA and put it in yourself? Me too, so we're gonna find out. Welcome to the Minecraft DNA mod, the mod that also begins with me breaking a tree. In this mod, I can take animals' little cellular structure, put it into my own body, and get one of their abilities. What secrets do you have, sheep? Is that a desert temple? All right, forgetting the sheep for one second, we have riches to explore. Excuse me, desert temple that's conveniently right next to a village. <laughs> I see no better place to set up shop. And I'm glad there's some exposed iron here because making these machines is going to take roughly about four hours with the amount of grinding you have to do. The iron actually works because with this, I believe, yeah, I can make the scraper, which is pretty simple because when you have a test subject and why'd you just run? All right, it'll be you. You can just scrape little cells off of them. There we go. 10 organic matter. Let's get some for you too. No need to be a quitter and running away. Do I need zombie matter too? Do you guys really even have anything I want? Honestly, probably not. I have one major question. Do skeletons have organic matter? I guess we can. Yeah, look at that. Oh, I guess it's also a little imperative that I don't die, huh? A tactical retreat. Hey, wait, bunny, come here. Give me your cells. Oh, you fool. Why'd you jump in the water? That is... Oh, that was kind of sad. I didn't like that at all. Hey, Bat, can you just come down for one second, please? Wow, he listened. Nice. Ooh, a spider. Give me all your cells. They're super easy because you were in the water, <laughs> you poor soul. All right, Desert Temple, what secrets do you hold? Break this just in case. Ooh, iron, I'll take. Two diamonds, hello. One normal golden apple. Ooh, and another diamond, nice. All right, now get me out of here. It's dark and I'm afraid. It's good we got those diamonds though, because by making two metal scrapers and smacking a diamond on the end, you get the advanced scraper. All right, villagers, I'm taking some of your sand and then I'm leaving you guys alone forever because to make all those machines and everything, I'm gonna need some glass. What is that? Whatever it is, it looks extremely run down. I'm just gonna break in. Is that fine with you, game? We, we cool with that? Please? Okay, there's just traps in here. Hello? Is anybody home? It doesn't look like it. All right. Wait, these are all the machines I need. What? Oh, I see. Am I just taking over for someone? Sure. That, yeah, whatever. It saves me like nine hours of work. Thank you, mysterious dead man. Because now it's time to start modifying. So what you do is you throw your organic matter into the analyzer and then you wait a long time. And then that gives you these little things called cells. Take the cell, throw it into the extractor, and then you get something called a helix. And then you slap that into the decryptor and you find out if you're lucky or not. And it looks like I am. And when you have one DNA helix, you just throw it into the infusion and then you take one of these very conveniently left DNA plasmids and slap it in there too. Oh wait, this is the last one, yes. A complete DNA plasmid, perfect. Oh yeah, now comes the part where I have to just draw my own blood. Oh science, how you hurt me so. Let's just get that all purified and then smack it in here, ready to fuse with this one plasmid. And perfect. And now I can see. Oh, never mind. That I'm blind. Huh, you know, I thought it oh, it did give me mob sight. Well, this'll be handy so I don't get jumped in the caves. And what thing did I get from skeletons? I got infinity? Alright, time to cook up even more stuff. Whilst I wait for all that, I need to hurry up and find food. Sorry, sheep. Usually you'd be in for my experiments. But if I want to keep doing them, I have to do this. You know what? As long as the ends justify the means, Minecraft mob genocide is good to me. Get back here, you glowing cow. What is a very, very long time later? and we have the infinity plasmid. Well, for now, I have infinity. Why do I have to go blind every time? You know what I can do while I wait for everything? Hi, Enderman. Give me all your cells. Give me all of them real quick. Oh God, leave me alone now. Or at least drop me a pearl. Do something useful, at least. Oh, that was a creeper. Okay, really? What is a very, very long time later? But I have six plasmids I can actually put into my body. <laughs> So currently I have mob sight, infinity, teleport, and more hearts in this syringe. If I just inject that back into me, I have two rows of hearts now. How do I teleport? Oh, well, this is kind of handy. Hey, I want to be over there. Perfect. Oh, well, okay. I went like four blocks, but still. Now time to load up the rest. It's finally here. The rest of my abilities. Seriously, why do I always have to go blind? But now I have permanent speed, permanent night vision. I can just do this when I reach a wall. But what is probably the most important one out of them all, whenever I'm hungry, I can simply eat grass and get my hunger back. <laughs> 
Who knew cow genetics could be so useful? All right, off to go find some diamonds. Cause I need to go steal some genetics from some nether mobs. Game, keep going down, please. Thank you. I think this is it. I think I've officially been betrayed by the game. Why else is there? You know what? Spoke too soon. Hi, diamonds. How are we today? Now with my freshly made diamond pickaxe, it's obsidian time. I'll see you in 187 seconds. Just a little more, please. Thank you. All right, let's get out of here. I'm done with all this. I'm coming for you, Blazes. Just the moment I happen to find a fortress here. Oh, God. It's been age. Oh, thank God. Blazes, I need you both for your rod and also your organic matter, please. There's a lot of you here. That's kind of scary. Whatever. It means a lot of organic matter. And die. Perfect. I got one rod out of that. Seriously, die. What? What's going on? Stop that. Stop the living thing you're doing. Come on. I just need one more blaze rod from one of you. Yes, I got it. Perfect. Tell you what, you guys are fine. Just hang out over there. I don't even care about you anymore. Hey, you with the stupid haircut. I need your organic matter, please. Because I believe I'm going to be able to get the wither hit ability if I just take you. Thank you. Nope. Nope. Stay away. Sorry, you just got comboed with a little scalpel. Now time to begin my 500 block walk back. I'm coming, my little randomly torn down laboratory. Whilst I wait for my genes to infuse, let's go make an iron golem. Which means I just so happen to need a ton of iron. Set all of that to smelt. And then let's find a pumpkin. A few moments later. What is this? Oh, thanks, Hero Brian. I'll be taking it. And now to just make four iron blocks. This convenient little entrapment area. And iron golem. Perfect. Hey, buddy. You want to just, yep, start dropping stuff? All right, you can stay there. Protect the lab. I've got some matter to make. I just have one more plasmid left to go. Because now I have this entire fun list of effects. All right, blind me game. But it's finally time to hunt down the stronghold. You've got to be kidding me. All right, Enderman. I'm teleporting my way there, and I better see at least one more of you. Well, I ran until I reached an ocean, so now it's time to just wait for night. Oh, would you look at that? Excuse me, Mr. Enderman. I need 12 pearls, I think. Oh, you just disappeared. Okay, that's scary. Time to begin my ever-so-favorite hunt of waiting for multiple Endermen to spawn, and then banking they drop a pearl. Oh, look, a spider jockey. Oh, this thing is fast. Hello. Stop. Die. God, you weird, weird mob. Where did that Enderman just go that I hit? Why are they running from me? I'm a lovable enough guy. You guys don't have to run, even if I am about to kill you. It's not intentional. Oh, I think it's because my wither hit is doing damage, and then they're just teleporting away afterwards. Which means... Oh, that was one that ran away. <laughs> One down, potentially 11 more to go. If I have to run 700 blocks in the wrong direction because I only threw that one eye of ender, I'm really going to be upset though. Hello? Oh, nice. That makes two. And I must say this whole eat grass ability really coming in handy. I've killed so many endermen. Please, I just need one more. Please get... Oh, yes, yes, yes. Mob eyes, thank you. Have what I need. You will have what I need. I will kill this creeper while I wait. I will not kill the creeper. Die, Enderman. He didn't give me it, and I'm too tired to care anymore. Ender Dragon, I'm gonna come take my frustrations out on you just as soon as I make 10 more Eye of Enders. Please tell me I don't have to turn around. Please tell me I don't have to. Ooh. Oh no, that means I have to go over the ocean. New plan. I simply hope and wait. That's a mine shaft right there. Is the stronghold gonna be just right below me? Yeah, yeah, it is. All right, I'm doing the classic dig down tactic. Game, there's not gonna be lava, right? please. Perfect. Just what I wanted to see. Now the only question is how exactly do I get to the portal? No one just wanted to do me a favor and make my life a little easy, huh? It's fine. I don't need your guys' help. Wait, is this already? Yes, portal room. Leave me alone, you little jerks. And break. Three-eye portal, huh? It's a shame I happen to have exactly as many as I need, as long as I throw that one somewhere. Before I jump in the portal, it's important that you open up the secret chest that's in every one of these lava pools and get what you need. All right, time to die. Ender Dragon, just give me like one second. You and your stupid crystals. Yeah, I can climb your obelisks. I don't care. Eh, wait, just gotta get this perfectly, which I guess it's, tell you what, fine, I'll do it this weird old fashioned way. Perfect. Don't mind me, Ender Dragon. Just gonna take away all your life source. Yep, tell you what, I'm gonna go ahead and leave now. Thank you. One more crystal left. Can I manage to just jump and hit it? That would be the ideal. Perfect. Oh, and by one more crystal left, I meant now. There we go. <laughs>
All right, Ender Dragon, get down here. I need to take a little sample for my lab, please. Finally, yeesh, come here. Give me your organic matter, and then I'm gonna start smacking you to death. I hope that's quite all right. How long are you gonna stay there? Wow, you're just hanging out. Ender Dragon, are you aware you're at uh, three-fourths of your health right now? I mean, you can, yeah, I'm fine with you just standing here. Perfect, thanks. All right, uh, I got the matter, and she just willingly gave me half her health. It's a good day to be a scientist. You know, did anyone ever tell you you're just, like, unnecessarily loud? There's no need for you to be screaming and crying and all that. I mean, I get the fact that you're being brutally murdered in your own, like, dimension, but still. Have a little common decency for the ears of those below you. Do you mind if I just do a quick little, you know, 360 Ender Dragon kill? Isn't it beautiful? Scientific advancement. All right, back to the lab. I'm home, my precious. Slap the Ender Dragon's organic matter in. Get a helix and then get dragon's breath. So what exactly happens if I just do the, oh, I can just actually shoot ender dragon dragon breath. Hey guys, I know you're just standing there doing your best, but you mind just, yep, dragon's breath, perfect. <laughs> but you know, there's one more plasmid that I forgot to inject in myself and that is the power of flight. Who knew that stealing mob genetics could lead to so many profitable things? But I think the most important unanswered question is, whose laboratory is this?